What's up guys, Dante here. I'm here with a kind of like what's good headphone to earbuds type of video. Now, somebody asked me at work about which ones would do I recommend as far as headphones, wireless, and all that type of stuff. And I have to say it's like for me, you know, the sound quality is like one of the top things for me. So it depends on like what you're really looking for, earbuds or headphones. So I ain't got, I only got one pair of headphones, but stay tuned for more because I got some headphones I'm going to do a review on. So stay tuned for that. But I kind of just gave my little opinion about what's the best one for what that person needed to done. But, you know, for the first things first, let's start off with whatever phone you have, either iPhone or Android phone. First, I want to recommend, if you have an iPhone, I definitely recommend the earbuds or AirPods. Or earbuds, AirPods. I definitely recommend these. These are the most portable wireless headphones you can get out on the market. I mean, the case itself is small, compact, pop it open, slide the little earbuds out. And you're good and ready to go and if you have an iPhone to connect like that so I definitely recommend this is the first generation now second generation you can charge this wirelessly if you have like a charging mat you can just lay it down and charge it so you ain't got to plug it in that's good that's as far as iPhone now the same thing goes for the Beats in my opinion because Apple owns them now so it still has it's that Apple thing you know you can pop the phone, pop the case open and connect them right like just like that the sound signature for these are pretty much the same in my opinion but if you like working out and you want some headphones or some earbuds to wear definitely recommend recommend these for that because they had this thing where they got the loop around your ear and it kind of just stays in place it don't comes out it doesn't slide out no nothing but these I've seen people work out in them I don't recommend it because it, one fell out of my ear and damn near fell out on a drain so I said I would never wear these while I work out again this is more for me these are more like walking in the park down the street or anything like that. They're not noise cancellation, so you can hear what's going on around you. So if somebody trying to sneak up on you, you catch them of course, you know how crazy it is out here these days. But yes, these are not noise canceling either, but they're good for, like I said, working out. If you need some headphones to wear while you're working out, these are perfect for that. The sound signal is pretty much the same in my opinion. Can't go wrong with either one of these. Next up, I have the Jaybird X4s. These were like 120 bucks, right? I used these when I was running, in which I had an issue with these because sound was fine, connection was fine, all that. But when it came down to it, like this string right here, when it got when it got caught on my neck, like if I'm sweating and it got like it got caught up with the sweat, it would kind of stick. And sometimes when I turn my head to like if I'm running looking for traffic, the earbud would kind of almost come out. So I had to constantly kept sliding it in and fixing it. And I understand you can tighten it and stay in there, but it still was doing that. So that was like my gripe with these. But the sound was pretty much good. I think they're better sounding than these two, in my opinion. Like, I think these sound a little bit better than those two. So, you can't go wrong with these, especially if you're working out. These are lightweight too. So, depends on the person. Like I said, you can change the earbuds, which I did, and it still was the same. But, you know, depends on the person's ears. Depends on the experience for these. Now, I want to talk about some over-the-air headphones. These are Audio Technica MTH M50 BT. BT stands for Bluetooth. And if you ever had the headphones with the wire, these are pretty much the same thing. Great sound signature, highs, mids, all sound amazing. The bass is not overwhelming. These are just perfect. And at the price point, I, I definitely recommend them. They're only 200 bucks. Now you might can find these cheaper now because when I got them, they was 200 bucks. But before, they was like I think last time I saw them was like 169, 170. I think blue. So definitely recommend these but when it comes to working out I don't recommend them because they slide off depending on what you're doing like if you're doing weightlifting I think they stay in place but if you like uh, cardio aerobics type stuff or any type of thing like that these slide so they, they slide so I definitely recommend those for stuff like that but they can work for working out depending on what you do last but not least is the Sony WF 1000 XM3 I know the name, right? But I kind of I like the case and I don't like the case. I like the case because how it stores the headphones, which is fine. The earbuds, I mean. But it's just not portable. Like you can take it in a bag and slide it in your bag, but you can't put it in your pocket and kind of. You can, but it takes up a lot of space. So you don't want something that takes up a lot of space in your pocket if you're doing that. But like back in the day, they had the little jean pockets where you had the regular right hand pocket and you had that little slot for like I guess keys or something like that. These AirPod, AirPods can work and you fit perfectly in there. This wouldn't, so. But these are noise canceling earbuds. And
And I must say, these sound amazing. And the noise cancellation is great. Like I said, I one time I went to the BJ's and I just was testing these at the time. And I walked through that store. I swear I was in my own little world with these things on. It just felt like I was in a room, like a quiet room, like a rubber room with <laughs> no sound, no nothing. And I couldn't hear nothing. These are priced at $229. If you're a big fan of earbuds, so I definitely recommend them. At the price point, I guess for some people it can be a little bit too much. Like, these are $229. The beats are 250. Can't wildly charge either one of these. Which I don't understand. Like you got the new Apple AirPods for two hundred dollars, but you can wildly charge it. These two are a little bit more and you can't wildly charge it. So for me it's just to each his own. But I definitely recommend all of these depending on the situation or any type of environment you're in at the time. Like I said, working out, perfect. On the plane, perfect. Walking around town, perfect. Walking around town is perfect too. These are not noise cancelling, so you ain't gotta worry about that. But just be careful, you know, so people crazy out here. Walking around, running around, working out, perfect. And that's pretty much it for the headphones I have, and I definitely recommend. I also am the type of person, if they're not good, I'm not gonna recommend them. But these, all of them, are good depending on the scenario. But thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.